Hello everyone, and welcome back to Create Above and Beyond. We're back on the server. Um, in the last episode, we cleaned things up. As you can see, my oh my, it's a lot better than it was uh, a few episodes ago. We still have a little bit of spillage over here. Um, I'm sure we could we could fix that quite easily, but we're not going to. <laughs> we're not going to. Um, so this episode, one thing I want to get right off the bat is I want to automate kelp. So we're going to hook up a kelp machine underneath this water wheel. And, and it's going to gather all the kelp. That that should be, in my mind, that should be pretty quick and simple. Okay? Should be, being the key word there. Um, another thing that I want to do, possibly before then, is actually take our bucket with some water. And I would like to go and get some obsidian. Because I would actually like to make, if we have a look in here, these void upgrades to destroy excess items for my drawers. Because they're getting full. And I'd like to just ignore them, you know what I mean? And let them get full and just have like all the extra stuff get voided rather than left on the ground and, you know, server issues. So we'll do that. That should be pretty easy. Another thing actually that we need to do is I need to bring some uh, tree tree stuff with me. What's it called again? Yeah, yeah, wood. Um, I, mean, I need to bring some of that with me and I need to run over here. Someone suggested that I should make a matic and that sounds perfect. So a matic, I believe. Oh, what, what do we have here? Pickaxe head, tool handle. Why is there no shovel head? Or is it a small blade that we use? Um, this is a matic, obviously. Axe head. Oh, it's an axe and a pickaxe. Okay. Um, is there a better tool we could make here? A scythe. I think this is for harvesting and replanting crops. Which, eh, eh, it's not a bad idea. We'll probably make a matic, though. So that's going to be an axe head and a pickaxe head. Um, that's pretty easy for us to do. Let's go ahead and make... Um, wait, what's the other bit? Sorry. Um, the other bit is... A uh, tool handle. Okay. So the tool handle, we're just going to make out of wood. Quick and easy. Nice and done. Uh, the other stuff we're going to make out of uh, stone. And I guess we're going to make some more patterns because we don't really have much. Here we go. Oh, wrong one. Chuck this in here. And axe head. There we go. Then we go tinker station. Matic. We combine these together. We get ourselves a matic. This guy can not only... Um, let's give a little showcase. Not only can he chop wood, you know, it's not slow, but it's also not fast, but he can also do, um, dirt and stuff, so he's a little, a, a two for one, um, if we wanted to, we do have some spare diamonds, I believe, the question is, what did we want to use this for, oh, a drawer controller, I mean, we, we don't have the zinc machine unlocked, so that's probably not going to happen anyway, but interesting, interesting to say the least, oh, we can make a Draco Arcana sword, or some diamond ore bricks. That actually, they look really cool. I'll give them that. Okay, I'll give them that. We can make a pedestal that isn't display only. Ooh, <laughs> I don't really know what that means. Um, there's quite a few different things in here. I think, I imagine we're just going to spend them however we want. I don't know if there's anything specifically that we're, I guess, after. You know what I mean? Like, not that I really know of. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but we could slap one onto our um, Matic just to make it like faster or i guess we could we can see the speed that it's going to do at least before we before we do anything crazy let's go ahead chuck it in here and see what it would do so at the moment we have a 4.4 if we chuck this in it goes up to 5.5 uh are we impressed the durability goes up a lot that's i mean that's nice um i don't know <laughs> i don't know how to feel about this the other option of course is uh redstone um you know what i reckon we just leave it for now no, nothing, to, nothing to really stress about. Okay, so first things first, I would like to actually go and get some obsidian. I think the elevator is the best way to do that. So I'll tell you what, it needs to be faster. It has to be fast. Another thing, by the way, what is this? Why is there water above my base? Like, this is new. It has to be new. I've never seen water above my base. Oh, wait, no, it's the water wheel. So I have seen water above the base. I've just never noticed it. I also don't know why this guy has decided randomly that he just doesn't work anymore. I don't, don't know what the deal was there. This contraption was unable to assemble. Unmovable block. Obsidian. Oh. This got in the way, I guess. Okay. That makes sense. Um, should we... We should move the... We should move this. How long is this going to take? Hmm. Do you reckon it's faster with this fast pickaxe? Because the pickaxe is pretty fast. Or do you think I should use um, this guy and I can do a 3x3? Three three? What do you reckon? Can we notice? I can't even see where it's breaking, to be honest. 
Alrighty, this is taking an incredibly long time. The hammer did work, but it was nowhere near as fast as just, well, not using the hammer. Um, but this guy should at least now be able to contraption and spin and do all that fun stuff. So he'll chop down the trees. He's, he should be back in business. He's having fun. Um, what else were we doing? Oh yeah, I've got to rebuild this somewhere. Just temporarily at least. Um, do I just slap it up here? <laughs> I mean, it's not the worst idea. Um, it's not the best idea either. But uh, yeah, it's not the worst. I can place it here, right? I think so. Let's watch this thing go around. No, that won't be in the way at all. Um, as for how much obsidian I should be using, honestly, I'm going to pick this one back up and we're not going to use the corners <laughs> just so that I can save a bit because... My plan was to go and get some obsidian, right? To make the void upgrades. That's going to take me so long with this pickaxe. I I don't really know what I want to do. <laughs> okay, well, anyway, anyway. Let's, let's go back around here and see what we're dealing with. Currently, this is how we're getting our speed, right? From this water wheel. Um, I mean, it works. Obviously, it's nowhere near being as fast. What I kind of want to do is I want to integrate this. I, I want to do what I, essentially I said I wanted to do, right? I want to integrate it up to, like, this entire system here. Oh, my God. These squids. And it's just ruined this whole system. What is it doing? Uh, man, the squids. We've got to figure out how to fix that, too. Um, anyway, though. <laughs> anyway. I want to bring that uh, dude over there into the base. So, the question is, of course, how do we do that? Um, well, first things first. We head back here. Uh, the axe that we have, we need to get rid of. We're not going to be using this guy anymore because we should be using the matic. So there we go. And I'm going to see if I can make my way over that way. So I'm going to pick up the water wheel, I guess. I'm going to pick up the bucket of water. Well, I was going to try to. There we go. No more no more water. Beautiful. Um, I'll patch in the hole a little bit. And I'm going to mine this way. I'm not sure how far. In fact, I should probably... To be honest, be using my hammer just to, you know, just to clear some space so that we can even walk through here. Um, we have one torch, apparently. Nice. Maybe we should invest in some more before I do this. But I'm going to build a path um, over to the outside, essentially. Okay, we just have to go to 176. So right here. So we'll do an extra one there. And we need to go this direction. And we should line up with the hole that I started building. Yep, here we go. Beautiful. So I just now need to bring, obviously the um the shaft all the way through here all the way down there and we should be good to go so let's go ahead and do that <laughs> why not why not let's also maybe clean this up a bit should we yeah you know what let's make it look really nice here we go nice little nice little pathway behind here <laughs> everything's beautiful listen we've got to we've got to learn to make things look nice in fact what we could do is we could actually properly make this look nice like full and put walls in it and stuff and maybe add like a door Maybe not here, but maybe we can have like a side down there to get to the door. I don't know. Um, <laughs> all I do know is I need to bring some shafts with me. Uh, we don't have much inventory at all. Let's go ahead and dump a bunch of stuff. All right, but anyway, we're going to bring the shaft with us. We're going to bring andesite alloys. I guess we'll bring some cogwheels just in case we need to use them. Um, we might need more andesite because honestly, this isn't much in the grand scheme of things. We have, I think... We have three more andesite cobble to work with that we managed to scoop up. So I'm going to quickly run over here and at least have that, I guess, processing. So chuck that stuff in there. There you go. Have the time of your life. We can run over here, believe it or not. And voila, here we are. I'm going to need to make more shafts. We'll probably need even more than that. But we're going to bring this all the way in here. It is going to go... Oh, did I misplace block? Nope. Uh, maybe. Mm, no, I didn't. Um, <laughs> I, was, I was trying to decide whether I did or not. Here we go. This is going to come, obviously, up to the corner here. And then there'll be a gearbox here. So, apparently, we have a bunch of crafting tables. Sure. I'm I'm not complaining. I, I was complaining a little bit. Um, we'll make this an andesite casing. Turn this into, voila, a small little gearbox. And there it goes. And then we're going to bring it, obviously, down here. Um, we need more shafts. I'm not sure how many we need, but we are nearing the end. And here we go. Now, we need to get this into there. How do we do that? Um, two gearboxes, to be honest. Um, is there a simpler way to do this? I'm trying to think in my brain. I can't really think of a way to do it. What we could do is we could do something like this, followed by something like that, and then... 
This sort of works, right? Yeah, yeah, you know what? This actually works perfectly. So what I can do, let me show you. We're going to place a large cog wheel here. And then in theory, we can slap two small cog wheels down there, right? So all we need to do is place one on the side here. <laughs> like that. So there we go. Um, I'm obviously going to have to craft another thingy. How do I do it? Um, I need eight buttons. Do, 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 do. We need to make it obviously small cogwheels, like so. And we just go small cogwheel, small cogwheel. <laughs> hey, there we go. Okay, now the question is, is this good? Are we good at the moment? Is that is it spinning the right direction, I guess is what I'm trying to say here. Um, I think it is. I think it is because we had the water wheel going uh, counterclockwise. And that looks like it's going counterclockwise. So I think we're good. I think it actually will just work. Um, is this a good speed? Is this even faster than what we had before? <laughs> hmm. Do we... Hmm, maybe we can step it up. Should we try to step it up before we bring it here? Does that... Hmm. Maybe. What are we thinking? What are we thinking? I reckon... I reckon quite possibly. I reckon it might be worth it. So I'm going to go back a few. We're going to place the gear here. This guy's obviously going to sp spin a small one. This is going to then spin a big one, which spins a small... Oh my god, listen, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I think we've just... We've just invented speed. All right, here we go. Hold on, hold on. I'm just, I'm just trying to make it a little bit cleaner, a little, just a little bit. Okay. As you can see, this guy is spinning like crazy. Let's go ahead and just, let's just give it a test. Oh. I'm back up. Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen, do you think we can, do you think we can get it to go a bit faster? Do you think that's within the table? Do you think we can, with the within the realm of possibilities? Oh, I kind of want to do it. Um, okay. H how am I going to easily do this? Let's go ahead and move this back a bit. Let's go big cogwheel. Um, that. Let's do this. Then we'll go small cogwheel. Then we're going to go... Let me, let me pick this stuff back up. I'm probably going to have to break into the wall here to make it, I guess, work a little bit better. But I'm going to place a large cogwheel there. We'll go small cogwheel here. Um, then we actually need to go this and a large cogwheel. <laughs> and then, is this even faster? I feel like we're just at the same speed as we were before. Were we? Are we? If I were to place one... Oh, 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 oh. If I were to place one right here... Oh, it breaks. We can't even do that. We're not even allowed. We're not allowed to do it. That's, the, that's just the speed we can go. Okay. Well, I mean... Ho ho hold on. I just want to check real quick. Because we can see how much it's going to use. Is that still 700? It is. Okay, so what we had before was already fast enough. Um, so let me try and recreate that. Damn, we had it perfect. And I, I, I fooled myself, apparently. Okay, there we go. It's um, back to how it was before, or at least I think that's how it was before. Um, it's been in pretty fast. What that means we can do is I can put some of this stuff away. La, la, da, da, da. Um, I can take my bucket of water down with me, and I can go mining for uh, obsidian. How much do I need? This will make one. So ideally, I think currently with what we've got set up, I'll need two sets. But if we're also going to set up kelp this episode, we're going to need a third. So I'm going to need to have... Oh my god, we... Did we just take fall damage because of how quickly this dropped? Okay. Oh my... And we're at the... And we're at the bottom. Okay. 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 That just happened. I'm... I'm impressed. I'm impressed with what we've done. Okay, let's um patch up this wall real quick. <laughs> oh, no, we can't. We can patch up that much. And then in terms of here, we can do some of that. And that might look a little bit nicer. Okay, we need to get up there to the lava, but safely. <laughs> now, that's that's where it's going to get a little bit tricky. We need to get up there safely. Um, hmm, did I see lava particles? No, okay, I didn't. That's always good. Oh, there's that's that's a little bit. Okay. Um, are we safe to go here? Yep. So far, so good. Here we go. So there's some lava right here. And my pickaxe is broken. Nice. My pickaxe is broken. The one thing that I came down here to use. That's 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 incredible. That's really good. That's nice. I'm glad that happened. Let's go ahead and do some of this. And pick that up. There we go. So we've, we've made some obsidian. There's some obsidian up there. Everything's fine. Let's maybe place this here and there. Um, let's get back up real quick. Because... Quite literally, it's pretty quick. We can just go and repair our things. So, this stone pickaxe, we obviously repair with um, stone. Oh! <gasps> okay. 
Interesting. Interesting. Very interesting. Um, what do we think of that? <laughs> what do we think of that? What? What's our... Whoa! Whoa. What is it doing? Okay, let's um transfer items. Okay. Oh my god. Poor little guy. Um, come back down. Okay, so we, we clearly... We have an issue. Uh, listen, I think we can fix the issue by simply adding a seat. So it's going to be a piece of wool and a slab. I think that's all we need to do to fix this. So I'm going to head back up. And I'll probably try and jump off at the top before it like uh, rebuilds itself. So that we don't fall down it again. Let's see. I couldn't do it. You know the worst part? I'm pretty sure this is just like a server lag issue. You know what? While I'm up here, hold on. I can fix this. We, we can do it from up here. We don't need our stuff to fix this. Assuming the server's not dead. No, nope, it's not. Okay, we're good. Um, I need shears, which should be here. Yep, shears. We don't have wool lying around. Nope. Um, we have some sheep up here. So I'm going to quickly borrow some borrow some wool. Thank you. Thank you for your wool. We only need one. I know I dropped one, but that's fine. I'm going to take out some... We only need one. We're going to go here. Chuck this in. Make a slab. Slab and wool equals white seat. Uh, beautiful. <laughs> I'm making a mess everywhere. Put that stuff away. Um, now I do need to attach this. So I think what I might need to do is place a slime ball. Glue this up and place a white seat. Then I can sit on it and we can go down. Beautiful. I'll configure the part that this seat is on, the uh, linear chassis, with a wrench. But obviously our wrench is down here. I still took damage. How preposterous. Um, transfer items. Thank you. Come back down. Come on. Come on. We, we ain't got all day. We ain't got all day. Um, so what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to pick up this guy. I'm going to scroll this guy down to be one. So now he'll only uh, control one block that's connected. Like this. So I should be able to sit down and go back up. As you can see though, it's still... It's a bit glitchy. I'm hoping I don't fall through because I'm in a seat. There we go. Beautiful. So I'm going <laughs> to, apparently I'm going to be taking damage every time, which I don't, I don't necessarily mind. It doesn't bother me too much, but it is good to know that, I guess. Um, we do have things to repair our, our um, pickaxe on the go, but since I'm back, I might as well just repair it like that. There we go. Okay. I'll go get the obsidian. <laughs> I'll, I'll be back. Oh, you know what? I've just realized, look at the bar at the top. It actually shows me the progression of me mining this block. So we're about halfway mining uh, these nine blocks below us right now. That is pretty impressive. Now, the pickaxe is a lot faster, but I think when you're doing nine blocks total, the hammer might be faster. And, and it's also just a little bit easier. You know, I, I just have to sit here holding left click rather than, you know, moving around and stuff. And watch this. You ready? Three, two, one. Bam. Look at that. And there we go. We now have what? 20, 29 blocks. That should be plenty. So now I'm going to see if we can get out of here. Da, 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 da. Sit down in our trusty seat that saves us from, uh, you know, being sent to the Shadow Realm. And we'll head back up. All right. Now, one of our quest rewards was were these um, upgrade templates. So I'm going to go ahead, chuck these in the middle, surround them with obsidian, and we'll get ourselves three void upgrades. The rest of this obsidian can just chill in there, I guess. Uh, we're going to come over here. Now, there's two ways you can do this, and I'll show both ways. One way is you can shift right-click with the... Oh, no. Okay, you can just normal right-click with the upgrade. And as you can see, now there's a void upgrade symbol, and it's it's working. That's all we need to do. It's done. It's set up. Wonderful. Um, the other thing you can do is shift right-click with an empty hand, and you can place it in manually like that. Yeah, so th those are your two options. Um, I'm going to save this one for the kelp that we are going to do pretty much right now. So... How do we do the kelp? Well, for starters, we're going to need um, a little bit more andesite. So let me chuck this stuff in to get processed. We're going to need to make um, some harvesters, which need andesite machines. They don't actually use any iron, believe it or not. So we're pretty much just using andesite and wood at the moment. That's that's honestly the only thing we need. Even for this guy, the mechanical bearing we're going to use, it's just andesite. So andesite, andesite, andesite. And I guess anything else we have. Um, so I guess we'll get started. I'll probably, oh, you know, we've got plenty of wood on us. I was going to say we might need more, but no, we're, we're looking pretty good. Grab this, grab some cogwheels. Um, you know what? The cogwheels can stay there because I think I'm just going to make new cogwheels. Um, it's probably better for us. 
So let's do this. Spruce buttons surrounding um, andesite, obviously, gives us cogwheels. Um, cogwheels, andesite, wood, and a saw will give us kinetic mechanisms. And then, obviously, surrounding the andesite casing with these gives us the andesite machine. Now, in the stone cutter, I can chuck this machine, and we can pick mechanical harvester, and we're going to get two of these bad boys. And to be honest, that's that's enough. We're, that's all we needed. Um, what I want to do now is actually go ahead and grab a slab. We're going to do a slab and a shaft, and this will create a turntable. Uh, we're also going to need another andesite casing, so we'll make one of those. And I think that's everything. Now we can make a mechanical bearing, just like this. Beautiful. Um, mechanical bearing, harvester. Uh, now, I know I said I wanted everything to be hooked up to the system, but I think over here is sort of like a niche situation, much like our um, tree farm over there, where they can they can afford to be separate because it's like one water wheel will quite literally be enough. It doesn't need to be fast. It doesn't need to be anything special. This should be good enough. So what I'm going to do is come under here. Uh, oh, we've already got it set up pretty much. Oh my God, I, I love that I did this. Um, what we're going to do though is pick up this and this. We're going to place the mechanical bearing just like that. I'm going to hopefully go up to breathe. Take a, take a deep breath. Okay. Because we are about to go back down. Um, hmm. Hold on. Hold on. There's a better way we can do this. Um, I need to bring one of my uh, linear chassis with me. One of these guys. This will be the lifesaver. So I'm going to run back over. <laughs> Obviously. We're going to fly under here. We'll swim under here. I'm going to place the chassis on the mechanical bearing. As you can see, there's like a slime attached. So now that's connected. I'm then going to slime bolt this. We can right click it again, I think. And it right clicks the other side. Yep. And then I think we're just pretty much going to place maybe like a template block. So maybe just like a cobble followed by um, a mechanical harvester. Um, you know what? That doesn't really work, does it? I I need the mechanical harvester to almost be like like this. Can I even place that? I need it to be like like that. Maybe the other way around, <laughs> for the sake of making things look good. Hold on. I also, yeah, I don't really know if this will work. Let me, you know what, let me set it up how I think I want it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I believe this is it. So it's set up to spin like this. Let's, um, hmm, how do we see if it works? We have to be able to reach it. Um, hmm. These ones here need to stay, but the wood underneath does not. And also, this could probably do with being replaced, if we're being completely honest. Let's see. Okay, um, I've gotten rid of all the wood around here, so we've almost got line of sight of it, but we still don't. Um, the question is, <laughs> how do I really reach this? I I don't know, because I can't afford to break this. You know what? It can be a slab. That is the trick here. That is what we need to do. Do we not? Well, well, uh, hold on. Where is it? <laughs> where is our crafting table? We can we can place a new one. It's fine. Crafting table. Um, we'll do a cobble slab. I'm going to break one of these blocks, like this one here. I'm going to place a slab there instead, so that that should still work perfectly. You know what? That didn't do what I want. I mean, it still works. Apparently, we don't even need cobble to be there, but for the sake of making it look nicer, we can do that. Under here, I'm going to right-click this. And look at that. That works. Um, I'm, I'm going to stop it, though, because I realized I didn't attach a... Uh, what should we call it? A chest or anything. And then how do I take this stuff out? I've really... I don't know if I've done anything good here. This is, <laughs> I thought this would be a lot easier than I guess it's sort of seeming to be. Um, hmm. You know, I, I have some interesting ideas. Like, for example, if I break this, the speed's still the same. It's 320. I could have... Mm, no, I couldn't. Uh, mm, eh, mm. No. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. So I need this guy to not only be collecting things in like a chest that he has on him, but I need that chest to be able to dock somewhere. What I could honestly do is place this guy right here, like that. That will stay connected, believe it or not. We'll just break this stuff. So this should be good. If I wanted to, I could also come down here and like scroll this down so that it's only doing... Oh, so it's only doing... I'm about to drown, but that's fine. Three. Okay, let's go back up. Um, and then I can place, like, that could be a chest, actually, instead of what it currently is. Hold on. Let's, um, make that a chest. Ah, uh, you know what? Not a chest. Hold on. <laughs> I, I keep getting new ideas. Um, the chest will be on the other side. On this side, it is going to be 
Well, I wanted it to be a portable storage um, doohickey, much like what we have here. In fact, identical to what we have here. Let's... Mm. <laughs> I wanted it to stop anywhere but there. Okay, that's... You know, that's fine. That's fine. Let's just... Here, let me break this, break this, break that. Um, I would like the portable storage. I would like this portable storage. I'm going to bring them with me. Um, I will also need a chest, which we have. Beautiful. Oh, nice. We're, we've really come prepared this time. <laughs> so let's come down here. Um, da, 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 da. This, I want to break. And I would like it to be a portable storage facing up, much like it is right now. Beautiful. Over on this side, I would like to create a similar thing. So I'm just going to place this guy here. And this guy is going to be a chest. And I should be able to break this. We should be able to go under and hover over it. And they're all highlighted, so they're coming with. Beautiful. And then above here, I need another portable storage, obviously. And I think I can do one like that. And that should work. In fact, I can place another chest, I think, on top of this. And I believe it will put things into it. Possibly. Possibly. We might have to, um, we might have to, I don't know directly pipe out of it or something. I, I, I'm not entirely sure. But what I do know is that this should now work. If I go ahead and turn this guy on, he's going to spin around. I do need to get rid of that little piece of cobble, but this shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> okay, the cobble's gone. This guy spins around, and I guess as stuff grows, he's going to pick him up. He's not going to get everything, but he is going to get some of it. And should, I'm hoping... Oh, no. No, look at this. Wait. Yeah, if we hover on this, it's actually... It's going into this guy, but he's, it's not coming out of here. So, we need to fix that. We need to fix that. Um, how do we fix that? <laughs> um, hmm. Do I just slap a funnel on it? You know what? Maybe. Hold on. I think we might be able to do that. Listen, th once again, this is not the prettiest design. Okay? I apologize. <laughs> but it's a, it's a design. Okay? And that's what counts. Uh, and a safe funnel. I want to see if this works. Check out this. You guys are going to love this. You guys are going to love this. I'm going to place it on top. I'm going to place a chest above it. I am going to um, right-click this guy to shoot it upwards. Does that work? Does that do anything? Um, currently, the answer is no. Okay. <laughs> the, oh, in fact, it drops it on the ground so that I can pick it up. Okay. Okay. Um, I mean, it's, I guess that means it works. What we could probably do now realistically is have it f have a um a thing here if that if that will place it doesn't really want to place but i want to i want it to go into a a conveyor belt yeah, can we not do this uh, you know what we're probably better off having it down there as in like a funnel there then cutting out room here for it to go up Oh, but that's sort of in the way. Oh my god, I've, I've really just made a mess here. I do need it to come up from here somewhere, but I'm thinking maybe this is now a better option, to have it come this way. Right. Alright, so I've gone and grabbed one of our uh, mechanical belts, so that we can actually, hopefully, set this guy up. We'll grab some, some of this stuff down here. Um, so what I want to do is have this be here, right? We're going to place a shaft there. I'm going to hope it's still... It should still work, because... The deployer goes down, but we're going to place a shaft there. And then obviously we need this to go up into a spot where we can use it. So, um, I'm thinking, <laughs> lots of thinking happening. Lots of thinking. Um, can I reach the belt from here? I can. Right click the belt. And it doesn't, okay. And it shows where it goes. So right here is where it can go. So for example, I can place a shaft right Mm. <laughs> like that, but, you know, facing the right way. So, like this. Is that right? Am I wrong? No, it needs to be one higher. Okay. We can still work with that. In fact, I think that might be what we wanted. Place that there. Connect that. Beautiful. Okay. Belt is up here. <laughs> we have our clay there. Um, Now, obviously, the kelp is meant to combine with the clay to make these algal blends. It's meant to do this in a mixing bowl, right? It's meant to do this in a mixing bowl. So, the question is, should I even put the kelp in a drawer, or should the kelp go directly into being made into this uh, this blend? What I could do is I could actually bring it around here, leading into this mixing bowl. I know it's 
I know it's in not the greatest spot. In fact, I could move it back there. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> um, let me think. Let me, let me think for a bit. Let me try and make up a plan. All right, so I, I, I want some more mechanical belts, right? I want to I wanna bring this around. I probably want to process it over here. I can probably even move the mixing bowl to be over here as well. Um, but we need more mechanical belts. To do that, if you remember correctly, we need da, 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 cured rubber, which is smelted rubber, which is resin compacted in a basin. We have a basin over here to be compacting. We have resin that's able to be grabbed, or at least I'm hoping it's able to be grabbed, but it, it's in a container up here courtesy of this um arboreal extractor so i'm gonna right click and i've got water in here why did the water not uh leave my my domain are we good is the water gonna return i hope not um well, let's try this again i'm gonna right click and we now have a resin bucket beautiful i'm gonna run back over here to this uh basin i'm gonna right click in it and this guy should start compressing it into rubber um so that's gonna be four rubber right and i probably want to make some more so i'll get another bucket uh oh how much does this hold i think it holds eight buckets yeah it holds eight buckets once again you can put fertilizer in here like a uh, bone meal or something to speed that up but um you can just also you can also just leave it there and it, you know eventually it figures out what it's doing um so here we go that is obviously da, 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 da. where is it oh a block of rubber oh okay four rubber no it's fine <laughs> um we're gonna obviously cook that there and i need a little bit more this guy hasn't really caught on yet to what we're doing, but I'll try this again. There we go. Okay. He's, he's, he's caught up. The cured rubber's made, um, and now we just wait. Alrighty, we've got the last bit cooking right here. Judging by last time, yep, it does not take long at all. And we now have ourselves three more mechanical belts, which should hopefully be plenty. Uh, let's also see what do we have here. We got four more andesite. Nice. That's probably not enough, but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, okay, so, the belt obviously goes here, then what? Hmm. Th see, because I, obviously, I can get this to go into a mixing bowl quite easily, but my next problem is, how do I get the stuff from this drawer to go into the mixing bowl? You know what I mean? Like, how do we, how do we pull out this one? How do we, how do we pull out that little trick? Um, I'm not entirely sure. I'm thinking we're probably going to have to move it around to this side. And then we'll be able to access it from this side. We'll have the water flow down there. I, I think, honestly, I think that's the play. I think that's what we do. Um, I'm also just realizing that I probably, to be honest, want... I want another precision mechanism, but I don't have the andesite. You know what? There's lots of... You know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? <laughs> There's a lot of that happening. Um, Let me go down here. I'm pretty sure we have some andesite in our walls. I'm going to mine some up with our super hammer. So that we get a bunch and we'll we'll make some more andesite because there is some stuff i want to do is there andesite down here was i mistaken there is plenty in the roof up there okay that took me about two seconds to mine out that area and now i have 55 potential andesite which is you guessed it more than enough um so i'll meet you back up there with probably the crafting of a precision mechanism one of those um you know andesite machines because i want some more funnels i believe Okay, um, so I've obviously got plenty, so I'm going to chuck all of this stuff in. Um, like, so is it a shapeless crafting recipe? It is. Beautiful. You don't have to actually put them in any orders. Um, all right, and it's like casing. Surround this bad boy, like so. Let's go ahead and get some funnels. I think that's what I'm after, right? I want funnels. I'm pretty sure I want funnels. So we're going to we're gonna make some. <laughs> we're going to make some. Um, okay, so here's the deal. That guy's obviously going to extract. He's going to come all the way up here. It's going to be beautiful. Um, next thing I want to do is pick up these guys. So the first thing I want to do is pick up this drawer right here. There we go. And this belt. We're going to place the drawer like so. We're going to connect the funnel on the back so it can input, obviously. Um, on this side, I'm going to place another funnel right here. That will cut off the water, but the water's still there. So, like, that's still going to work perfectly. Now we have a funnel here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and connect a shaft, hopefully like this. Yes, beautiful. Um, and now where do I want to bring this? That is obviously one of many questions. Um, hmm, I don't know. Oh, you know what we can do as well? We can connect those up and these can all spin in tandem. Oh, beautiful. That actually works really well. And then, uh, oh yeah. And then, oh, okay. Okay. Um, so, <laughs> so 
how do I want to do this? <laughs> I really don't know. Um, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. Step one should possibly be to bring the mixer over. Um, so I'm going to pick up this stuff, pick up that stuff, pick up this, pick up this. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, this guy has to be there anyway, so we can keep using him. We'll have the shaft come over here, like so. Um, we will have the basin, I guess something like possibly... How do I want to do it? <laughs> I don't know how I want to do it. Um, how do I connect these two? Yeah, I really don't know. You know what? I've thought of something. We could do it like this. We could have it go right... So the kelp goes directly in. And then we could have this stuff flow in possibly like this. Is that going to even work? What do we think? Does that work? Hmm... Obviously, part of the issue is, um, how do I get the, to, like, jump? Almost, like, jump a level. How do I do that? Hmm. Because, obviously, like this, you know? Oh, easy. Easy peasy. Uh, but how do I get that to go there? That is the question of the day. That is the, that is the fabled request that everyone has. Um, to be honest, to be honest with you, what if we try a tunnel? We have a tunnel in here. Um, yeah, we have an andesite tunnel. These guys almost take up, like, a full block. So, maybe they'll be a little bit more, um, like, if we do this. Oh, they have to go on a belt, don't they? Yeah. Okay, new idea, new idea. We break this. We place a, a, a thing right there. Or there, I think it was. We're going to get our mechanical belt back. Right? We're going to belt this shaft up to there. Beautiful. Then this is going to go directly into the basin. Eh? You're, you're picking up what I'm putting down? Then what we can do is bring this guy all the way over here as well. Right next to the thing. Right there. With a mechanical belt. And that should go in as well. And then, yeah, there we go. And then all I have to do is place a this guy on top. Uh, is that going to work? I don't know if that'll work now. <laughs> having, having looked at this, I don't I don't really think that's the play, is it? No. Oh, hold on. Big brain moment. Big brain moment happening. What if I do this? Oh, no. <laughs> what if I do this into the side of it? Beautiful. I think that works. I think that is the solution. And then right here, we can slap down a gearbox. Just a normal looking gearbox like that. That should hopefully work. Obviously, I need to provide some rotational energy to this. So, we're going to have to figure out exactly how we're going to get that down there. Possibly just, you know, a few gearboxes. Uh, you know what, as well? What we could do is we could uh, get a hold of this stuff. So, let's go ahead and break that and this. We could go small cogwheel, small cogwheel. It's going to be spinning the wrong way. So, that doesn't actually help us. <laughs> uh, but I, I guess you saw the, the thought process there. We almost did it. Um... Hmm. All right, you know what, though? Um, we, we can go ahead and make some, uh, some watchmakorts. Some small cogwheels and some... I didn't bring... I need to bring something. Uh, we can make some vertical gearboxes, is essentially what I'm going to try and say. Because we can use them for a number of things. One is, obviously, uh, to get the rotational energy, um, down here. But the one that faces vertically, we can bring that up and across to this guy to power him. Possibly. That might be... Maybe that's the way to do it. Maybe that's not. We're going to find out. I'll tell you that much. Slap that in here. Nope. We're going to make cogwheels. As many as we can. Because why not? We're probably going to use them all. Gearboxes. Beautiful. Uh, make them both vertical. Okay. So a vertical there. Nope. Actually, sorry. A vertical there. And a vertical there. So now this is spinning. The wrong way. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> okay. That's fine though. Because we can do the cogwheel strat over here. That's perfectly fine. Now it's spinning the right way. This is spinning the right way too, courtesy of this gearbox. In terms of the vertical one, we can bring this up here. We can place a uh, cogwheel. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we just do this. <laughs> and then we could do a large one if we wanted to. Do we? I mean, we don't have a large one. But it would probably look nicer, wouldn't it? Hmm. Ah. Eh. The other option is, if we, if we thought this looks a bit ugly is we can go ahead and do this, this, um, place one on top of this, and belt them across. Like so. How's that? 
That's not too bad. It could definitely look worse, but I'd say not too bad. Oh, it's got kelp in it. Yes. And now, ooh, how do I tell it to only do clay? How do you think we do that? Hmm, this is a... We would obviously need a filter. But our issue is we don't really have... I mean, we do have brass. But I think a brass funnel needs like the... Yeah, it needs a brass machine. Should we just try? Like, if I press this, what happens? Okay. Here's why I think this might be fine, right? We get from this setup a lot more clay than we get sand. Like, look in the... We have two stacks to the one sand. We could also just ha not have sand in here and we could have sand be gathered separately. This is an issue, though. Ah, uh, you know what? It's actually only dropping it when it can. So there'll only ever be one on the ground. So that's not actually, like, that's not bad. Right? Right? Are we happy with that? I think, I, I'm going to be honest, I think I'm okay with that. One dropped on the ground? Okay. And this guy's obviously just making algal blends. He's having he's having the time of his life making algal blends. Good, good on him, to be honest. Good on him. Um, the question is now, how do we get this to be, uh, melted? Well, honestly, if we wanted to, we could bring it all the way up here to be processed on this guy. Um, or we could move it. You know, that's, that's always an option. Do we want to, should we do the full, the full thing? Should we get the algal blend into a brick? Hmm. And would we do that back here? I think we would. I think we'd do it back there. In fact, you know what? We're going to do it. <laughs> we're going to do it. So I'm going to come up here. I'm going to pick this up. Um, we're going to pick that up. Pick this up. Um, I guess I'll bring the trap. No, we don't have room for the trapdoor. The trapdoor can can wait its turn. Uh, we have andesite on us, which I obviously want to keep. What can I drop? Limestone, gravel. Enjoy your stay. <laughs> okay. So over here, we're going to smelt the stuff. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to come out of this, right? It's going to come out of this courtesy, of course, uh, of a shaft, like that. Uh, it actually has to be one below, doesn't it? Um, so, realistically, it has to be like this. And then, probably, we want it to go, what? Diagonal up one. And then, we'll go up again. So, we'll go diagonal there. Right? And that's obviously going to be a belt. It looks like we might need some more belts, depending on how we do this. So, this will go up here. Um, and at this point, we can actually set up the, the burner if we want, or this blaster. Um, we can hook up the fan. Where do we want, how do we want to hook this guy up? Like that? Mm, no. We probably want the fan to be on the other side, mainly because, um, we want to collect the goods from, from this side. So, da -da 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 -da. <laughs> let's see if we can do this. I'm going to bring this over here. La that that honestly should be good depending on how exactly safe we want to make this which is i guess kind of dumb to say you know what we'll, we'll send it back another level just to be sure just to be sure um we'll, we'll go back like um this we'll do that um we're gonna have the fan blowing this way we're gonna have the lava bucket and then we're gonna have a slab like this like that uh obviously i need to get rotational energy into the back of this guy which we'll probably do by sending the power somewhere. Um, what I'm thinking we could do, possibly, is rotate this all the way over to oh, here. Have it go up one. Have it go up a second one. Have this go, co uh, you know, that, that, that. And then place our vertical gearbox like this. Which way does it blow? Oh, we're overstressed. Oh, okay. You know, that, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. We, listen. Listen, it was bound to happen. <laughs> it was bound to happen. Let me go ahead and get some more wool. All right, let me just let me just get some wool. Yoink, yoink, yoink. Let me leave the wool pen. Um, so we have wool. We can turn that into sails somehow. I'm not entirely sure how, but it's a, it's a thing. It can happen. All right, we, we, we do also have to wrap this episode up at some point. I've just realized. <laughs> All right, white sails. There we go. Um, really, only one we can make. We need sticks. Oh, sticks we can do. Sticks, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've, I've met sticks. There we go. Sails, there we go. Um, We can actually do another one, assuming I meet some more sticks. There we go. Six of those. Okay, we have a bunch of sails. We have six of them. Let's run in here. How far can we extend this? Um, we're obviously going to have to stop it. So I'm going to have to get an empty hand and stop this guy. We have our sails here. Um, we'll do one there. 
One here, one there, one there, one there, and I guess one there. Beautiful. Is this enough? It should be. Let's see. Oh, I'll have to do it from outside. Da -da 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 -da. Run, run, run. Bam, bam. And, oh, we can't even see it because I, because of how I hooked this up. I really made this not, not the greatest. But anyway, there we go. And slap that down. Still overstressed. Really? Really, really, really. Really, 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 really. Um, you know what we can do? I guess this fan is blowing way too faster than it should have been. Um, there's a few things we can do. One is we can just power it with some water. You know what I mean? I mean, it does not need to spin fast. That's the key thing about these fans. They do not need to spin fast at all. At all. It, you're, in fact, you're wasting your time by spinning them fast. Um, which I guess we're doing here. Um, there we go. Stop that. Um, <laughs> okay, so, water wheel. I know we have a water wheel, because I remember breaking it. I'm also going to bring large cogs with. I'm going to bring this with. Uh, as my inventory fills up, we can put that away. Okay, well, we'll remember we put some ants side away. I'm going to run back over here. We can put that away. Um, so, large cog wheel. We have the water wheel. The water wheel, I'm just going to honestly slap on it. This should be fine. It should be fine. <laughs> Assuming it realizes how it should be placing. Like that. Beautiful. Um, we'll go ahead and... I guess I've got lava stone on me. So I guess what we're going to do is place some lava stone there. We're going to pick up this. We're going to place some lava stone here. We'll place a temporary uh, slab like that. And we'll place some lava stone oh, like this. I can probably pick this back up and... Then I just put water in there and we should be good. This should all work. Assuming it's spinning the right way. Bam. Yeah, beautiful. It's burning. Okay, excellent. Um, now comes a bit of another tricky part, which is I need to stop it from burning me if I were to stand there. So, oh yeah, the, the speed as well uh, determines the range, how far this uh, will go. Um, so, realistically, what I could do, if I wanted, is I could slow it down a bit. For example, I could place this here. And now that should go slow, right? And now does it make the same distance? Oh, it does. Um, can we go even slower? Let's do that. Now it's going even slower. No, it's st it still makes the distance. It's pretty... <laughs> Honestly, it's pretty good. It's uh, it's good at what it does. I'll, I'll credit where credit is due. Um, hmm. Well, we can't do less than two. I mean, it's already going two blocks. That's it's pretty good. I don't know. No, well, that's... I don't know. That's good enough. <laughs> Alright, so I was actually going to go and uh, combine the the bricks. It, like, put the bricks into a drawer, sorry. But I realized we should just skip that. And we should go right back into um, turning the the algal brick, this guy here, into the andesite in a mixing bowl. We should just jump into it. So, that's what we're going to do. Uh, andesite for the basin, of course. The mixer itself is going to need five iron sheets. We have those on us. How much andesite? Oh, plenty of andesite. Beautiful. We are... We, we might... Yeah, we're, we're pretty much... We're doing a lot here. <laughs> We're doing a pretty good job. Um, first things first, the basin. Uh, the basin will have a funnel attached to it. And this is where it's pretty cool. So obviously we've got this guy up here. He's going to be burning. I think... Where do I want to place this? I could either place it here or here. Either way, sort of doesn't matter. But I'm thinking I want to place it here. We're going to place a block here to block things. But I don't have cobble on me. In fact... No, no. This guy hasn't gifted us some cobble from the heavens. No, he's, he's not feeling too generous today. Oh, and don't forget your iron sheets that you drop on the ground. <laughs> that you, you do not want them to despawn. Um, okay. Uh, let me let me take care of this. All right. Anyway, here's our base, obviously. This guy is going to get a funnel on him. And, oh, well, actually, no. I think, he, I think this won't work. I think I might need a draw. And then the drawer goes into the basin. Yeah, I think I do, sadly. Because uh, this guy's going to take in the algal blend, right? Um, let's give it a test. Maybe he just... Maybe he won't accept it. No, he, 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 he accepted it. He, um, yeah, he, he, just, he just accepted it simply. Uh, yep, take the algal blend out. Chuck that back there. Okay, so... Um, what are we doing instead, then? How are we, how are we going to do this? Um... You know what? It's pretty simple, I think. We'll just place the drawer. We'll place the drawer facing like this. We'll place a funnel out of it. 
This will go into a basin. Um, no, actually. Oh, how will I do this? Because obviously I need to have it go into a mixing bowl basin. So it can't just directly do this. It's going to be a little bit... Oh, that's going to be a little bit harder. Um, are we going to have to put it on a belt? We don't have a belt. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What if this was a depot? And what if... Yeah. So what if this was a depot? And what if this was the basin? I have a hunch that maybe the basin will only take in things once they're cooked. That might be a thing that it does, right? That that makes a bit more sense. So then what we can do is we can place a shaft um, below here, like there. We can grab our mechanical belt, do a little bit of that. That should be good. Okay. So that, so that should hopefully go... I'm hoping that goes onto the depot. If it doesn't, we can just add a funnel one. Yeah, you just add a funnel. Just... Just do one of those. In fact, honestly, I'm just going to do one of those. Anyway, why not? Uh, so that will hopefully go into the basin, which will have a mixing bowl on top. So let's go ahead and make the mixing bowl. Uh, we will need a whisk. I've just realized as well, we need to make another um, precision mechanism, which honestly, they're not too hard to make. Once you, once again, <laughs> surprise, surprise. Once you have things automated, they're easy to make. Who would have thought? Uh, precision doohickey. Chuck that in, chuck that in, chuck that in. Bam. Um, I will actually need another spruce doohickey, so that can go there. Man, my inventory. It's spectacular, isn't it? I know you guys are impressed with how I managed to fill it up every time. Uh, we have the whisk, we have that. Okay, we, we run over to our smithing table, chuck them in. We have a mechanical mixer. Now, this guy has to spin fast, so he will have to be connected to our, our system. Um, so this guy is going to obviously go on top, like so. He needs rotational energy. Of course he does, of course. So, how will he get a hold of it? Um, he will need it like this, like this, and like this. But then that begs the question of why not just place two more like that and pick up this. Oh, no, wait, actually, that can stay how it was, um, like that. But this, oh, that can go up. This can be that. Okay, it is overstressed, so we will have to, I guess, add some more wind power to it somehow, which I'll, I'll go and do in a second, but this should be good, right? Are we feeling happy about this? To be honest, um, we could make this a water wheel. Uh, I mean, it wouldn't save us much stress. 128 stress units. Yeah. Um, okay. Okay. Now, another thing I did want to do was add water wheels to this system. You know what I mean? Like I want this system to be a big bulky system that powers everything else. So part of me wants to bring these over. I don't think I should. I think I should just make new ones. So, let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to make some new water wheels. All right, so we can make two with what we had. I was going to make some more, but uh, I mean, I guess, you know, if we, if we don't need to, we, we don't need to. <laughs> um, so, we've got water wheels here. Where am I going to add these? I was not really thinking about it, but I've sort of realized we could probably just have them in this hallway here. Does that not sound like oh, a little bit of lag? We could just connect them to this pipe. I feel like that's a genius idea. Um, we'll probably need some more walking room to get around them once they're set up. But I quite like the idea of it, if I'm being completely honest with you. Um, what we'll end up doing is, for example, we'll break these two. We'll place this here and this here. Um, I actually want it to be facing the other way. So I want it to go this way, this way. Yep, so it's going to be going, you know, that, that side. We will place... Um, what should we do? Let's do something like this. Followed by something like, well, I guess this, right? So let's break through here just so that we, we can get out. There we go. Um, and then obviously we will need, honestly, we will need another little row to go down, <laughs> to be completely honest with you, because what we're going to do is run these like this, which could be slabs, but we don't have slabs on us. So we'll just do this. That should be good. We can go that way there, like this. And then ideally, we need stairs. <laughs> we can do that. We can afford stairs. Stairs are one of the few things in this uh, game that we can actually afford. Let's maybe break into the roof here so I can get over. Uh, the stairs are going to go, I think I'm going to line them up like this. It sort of works. 
Oh, you know what? I actually have the proper solution. We place blocks like this, and then I place the, the other stuff. So now we can do... We can actually do this, right? And when I place water on them, or in these, they should flow... Oh. <laughs> well, I was going to hope they would float forward, but I guess maybe I need to do something like this and place the water in it. Oh, oh, nope, sorry. Oh, we're breaking everything. Hold on. Hold on. Give me a second. I should be able to place water like that. Uh, um, hold on. Okay, let me try this again. This time I've disconnected it from this side, right? And so now, if I get both of these running at max speed, we have an additional, what, like, um, 612, right? 612 stress units being added. So now, poss oh, they're spinning the wrong way. That's the problem, isn't it? Urgh. Okay, well, to be honest, for the sake of just making things work, I can place a gearbox. Oh, <gasps> oh my god, look at the speed of these wheels. <laughs> Is everything still working? Yeah, that, is that still connected? Yeah, it's still connected. Holy mo- I want to I check real quick, because that looks like it's faster. It looks like it's physically faster. Can we see the- Oh, we can't- Oh my god. You know what we can? And look at it. It is going faster. It is now at 1,000. Before it was at 700. Okay. <laughs> okay, sure. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, sure, sure. I mean, I'm not complaining that it's incredibly faster. I'm just- I'm just uh, acknowledging that it is. Okay. Okay, okay. So now, this is going faster. It's raining. Ugh. Oh, look. The weather's starting to clear. Ma magically, it's almost like the video now looks better and then is more enjoyable for everyone. Um, anyway. <laughs> anyway. Um, I totally didn't just cheat. In case you didn't catch on. Um, over here, what were we doing? I mean, it's all spinning now, so it's all working, right? Yeah. So now, this is going to get... Algal blend in it. Algal brick, sorry. Um, all I need to do is hook this guy up to some rotational energy, which can be done with, I think, two gearboxes or possibly one gearbox, depending on how this works. Let's go ahead and drop this guy on the ground. Let me pick up that. Okay. Let's go ahead and make a gearbox and see if we can get away with this. Because what I'm thinking is... I might be able to place a cogwheel here and a gearbox there. It goes the wrong way. Uh, I need two gearboxes. What are you possibly doing? No, I think he's happy. He's fine. He's fine. He's fine. He's fine. That's fine. We've made a mess. A big mess has been made. It's, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Let's um put that stuff away. Yep, that's all away. Um, I need a second gearbox, which means I need a second log, which means I need to get stuck in a berry bush. Uh, I'm going to lose my mind. You know what? That's what they get. That's what they get. Okay. I'm, I'm sick of it. Ooh. I don't know what I just did. I might have made the thing or I just made planks. No, I did. Okay, beautiful. Okay, two gearboxes. This should now work. I should now be able to place gearbox here, gearbox here, and now it's going the right way. And it's being placed on the depot. Check out this. It's get oh, no, it's getting instantly taken in. Come on, man. You're not meant to do that. Okay, it's fine. I'm gonna pick up I didn't. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, okay, it's fine, it's fine. What we're going to do is place the drawback. Um, we are also going to place a funnel there. So here, we can place that there. Let's jump up here. Let's... Mm, no. Hold on. Oh, my God. Oh, we almost died. That was almost the end of us. <laughs> okay, okay, hold on, hold on. I need to go and get um, the drawer that I put away because I didn't think we needed it because I thought we solved our problems. Um, but instead, I put it away. So here we go. Grab this guy. I just put the shafts away. I'm sure I'll need the shafts in a second as well. I don't know why I put them away out of everything. Okay. Drawer is going to go there. It is going to get an algal brick in it. So I need to make an algal brick first. So let's go ahead and just get that stuff processing. How does that sound? We'll get an algal brick. We'll put an algal brick in. And that should be the start of things. Obviously, we need to draw a key still. So what I'm going to have to do eventually... Yeah, that, this will work for now though. Place that there. Beautiful. Um... Yeah, let's go make a draw key. <laughs> this episode, listen, it's probably been long. Let me double check that I still have space to record this. Um, yeah, yeah, we've got a bit left. It's going to be a long episode, but we're getting stuff done, so I don't really mind. Um, sweet berries, they can go to hell. Um, what are we doing? Hold on. Brain stopped. We took the shaft back. We need gold. That is what we are currently after. Gold. How much gold do we have? We have one, but we have some dust. I am going to dump that in there. Dump that in there. Bring the gold bring the cast. 
We don't even have the thing set up. I am I am seconds away from losing my mind. Um, this is fine. Everything is fine. That's gonna go in there. Things that shouldn't be in there are going in there now. That's this is what they've brought to me. Okay. I am now going to grab a table, a faucet, a heater, a melter, and that is all. And we're gonna hook it up somewhere. Okay, it is going here. I'm gonna go ahead and put some spruce slabs in because I have nothing else. We're gonna chuck that there. Put in our cast. This guy's good to go. Um, we could chuck in some automation with some shoots and stuff, but I, I just want I just want th these gold. I, I, that's all I want. All I want is this gold. It's that simple. I don't want anything else. I, I think. Um, so I'm just gonna make these. What we're after, by the way, is called a drawer key. This guy right here, a drawer key. Um, so two gold ingots, a gold nugget, and an upgrade template. We have one spare upgrade template, so that's perfect. We have a bunch of gold now, so that's also perfect. We're going to run in here. Our remaining upgrade template is right here, so we're going to take him out. A golden nugget. Do we have any lying around before I use anything up? The answer is no, we don't. So I'm going to go ahead and make one. Gold nuggets. Draw a key. Beautiful. What this guy does now, let me show you. For one, we can go ahead and right-click this guy, and now he's locked. Um, we can go ahead and right-click this guy, and now he's locked. Then we can go over here, and we can right-click this guy, and now he's locked. Now, you might be wondering, how does it work? Well, there's currently 22 bricks in here. I'm going to take them all out. I'm going to punch and punch and punch, but that it's only ever going to take bricks. Unless I unlock it, and now I can take anything again. But we obviously want it to only take bricks, so we do that. This is good. That's all working. Why are you not doing the, th the thing? Why are you not exporting your algal blend up into the thing or uh, what huh ah, hmm ha ah, hmm ha ah. is the problem that it's got some algal brick as an input you know what when the conveyor belt was going the other way it took some algal blend as an input rather than just as an output so i think if i take this out this is good again and what i can do temporarily is just place this here manually but um if we get new kelp it should, as from my understanding, work perfectly. The rain has come back to haunt me. All right, so next, obviously, is a basin here. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. That was horrific. Um, It's not actually a basin here because I need a funnel into it. So it's actually going to be... Uh, uh, I forgot this. <laughs> this is why we did what we did before. Um, the, Like the other setup we had. I need to get the stuff out of this into a basin and I wanted to avoid using a mechanical belt to be completely honest with you but it's kind of looking like a mechanical belt might be the way to go um funnel and then if we place the basin there that doesn't like suction cap onto it no um mm, I hate this this is very annoying because like I can place a funnel there right but then I can't place the mixer above <gasps> unless you can what okay there we go it's that simple I'm gonna rotate this guy He's now going to fill this guy up with bricks. I'm guessing only as much bricks as he'll take. I don't think he'll, like, you know, overflow it. Which I'm guessing is... Hmm. Looks like he can hold a lot, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm guessing it's a stack. We'll keep an eye on it. We'll see exactly what's happening. But, yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, so far, so good. I'm, I'm on board. Let's go ahead and add some, uh, some rotation party here. Oh... So I could place a small one here, um, but that doesn't actually connect to anything. So I can't really place a small one there. Um, unless, hold on, hold on. Here's a little trick I've learnt. Oh my God, what, what are you do? Okay, you know what, it's fine. Uh, what, what we could do is we can just place them here. Eh? Didn't see this coming, did ya? We can just move them down one, and now this works. Beautiful. So this guy held a stack. Problem is, it's still dropping stuff. Although, look, it's only dropping one. I walk in, I pick up one, it drops a new one. Okay. So it's similar to the clay. It's only going to have one dropped extra. Okay. If you guys have a better solution, please do let me know because I'd rather just have it not drop one. But, it, you know, it's only one. It's surely, surely it's only one. It's not, you know, it's just one. Uh, but this should work now. All we need, the final ingredient is andesite. That is the only thing left. Um, and the andesite is obviously in our, in our cave. I have a pretty cool idea to bring it up using this elevator, which I don't actually know why it's down there, but using the elevator, I'm going to hook up like a chest to it. We're going to have our andesite miner at the bottom. 
I'm going to have it piped through the wall there. And it's going to come out of the wall. Probably maybe like into our tunnel system a little bit. Or maybe like next to the tunnel system. And it's going to come out all the way through here. And somewhere up here. Well, I guess, I guess in here. I guess that's where it's going. So it's going to go through there. That's that's what's going to happen. Oh, I'm, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, so yeah. I'm happy. I'm, I'm happy. L listen, once again. Not the prettiest thing. But it works. Okay? It works. Oh, God. I forgot I did that. Even that's ugly. You know what? We can fix it. You know? I mean, you, you guys probably didn't think we could fix the, the rest of the base. But, you know, th this place looks somewhat nice. It's not it's not the worst thing you've ever seen, but yeah. This this new addition is definitely it's a it's a sight to behold, I'll tell you that much. Okay, but but genuinely I'm I'm happy. I'm I'm happy that we set it up to work. We have now technically unlimited algal bricks. This should just keep going up. Oh, which means I need to do the void upgrade, which we should have on us. Um do, 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 so let's go and grab that. Um we'll obviously need more void upgrades in the future. Um is that more? We have another upgrade template. How many do we have? I thought we only had four. I don't know. I don't know. I guess we have an extra. Um, I, I'm curious now. I need to know. How do we get it? Um, that gave me a blueprint. Lifesavers. This gave me scaffolding. This gave me one upgrade template. And then something gave me four. I remember something gave me four. I thought it was the drawer that gave me four. Maybe it doesn't say how many it gives you. What is this? Metallurgy. Is that what we're up to? What the? What's this from? Simple overview of the process. Oh, no, I think this was always open. I don't know. I honestly don't know. <laughs> um, a welcome? No. I don't know. Uh, if you guys know where we got the extra one from, let me know. I do not know. Shipments. Okay. Um, okay. Anyway, anyway. It's raining again. Are you kidding me? Okay. Anyway. I was gonna put this on here, so now it's gonna void upgrade. It's fine. We can we can I believe leave this 24-7 and it should be good. Um obviously I need to add an extra strainer down here so that we get some extra um clay made. That's probably something that I should consider doing. It's also something we should automate because if this guy runs out of clay, it'll start putting sand in the system and it'll break. Because the kelp's infinite. The um yeah, the kelp is infinite, but the clay is not yet because we don't have it automated. So we do need to consider doing that. Like, genuinely. Um, why did that not go in? There we go. Um, so, yeah. I'm, I'm happy there. I, I reckon we can wrap this up. So, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, you enjoyed. If you did, please do consider subscribing to the channel. It helps me out quite a bit. Um, you can like the video if you liked it. Thank you to each and every one of you who have supported me financially. Um, whether it's watching ads on YouTube, uh, because that stuff adds up big time. So, thank you guys a lot for that. Or whether it's uh, donation links. Thank you guys. Or, or even becoming a channel member um, on the channel. Thank you guys so much. Um... We've grown like crazy in this past year, like incredibly crazy. If we even grow like a fraction of the the way that we did, we are, we're looking pretty good. We're, we're looking pretty good. So th thank you guys. Thank you guys so much. Um, and hopefully I will see you guys in the next one where possibly we do andesite. Maybe we do andesite. We, we either do andesite automation or what we do, like the andesite cobble down at our bedrock, or what we do is we do strainer. Uh, the strainer automation. So, um, this stuff here. Using sticks, which we get from our tree farm. So, maybe like a combination. The straw, I don't know how to get still. I'm not sure how we're going to get straw. I'm going to be completely honest with you. Like, I know we get it from plant fiber, but... Oh, yeah, rice. I forgot. Mm. I'm going to have to go hunting for rice, to be honest. Okay. Um, but, yeah. I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy. Thank you guys for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.